set up now for facilitating passive knee extent, actually um, active um, elongation towards knee extension. Our patient is a post-op um, right toe knee replacement. She has been um, having some challenges with attaining full knee extension and full knee flexion. Um, we thought of placing the patient in this position um, in order to localize knee extension range um, in this position. She is on a 45 degree angle bench with uh, prevention of anterior translation of the femur and also posterior, translate, uh, uh, posterior displacement of the ankle when she gets into uh, knee extension. So this would be a, uh, a good two point uh, blocking system for her in order to localize knee extension. So what I would ask the patient to do is to really press her heel. So we're going to use instead of um, uh, an indirect contract relaxer, we're using quadriceps contraction to facilitate um, reciprocal inhibition of her of her hamstrings, we are actually utilizing autogenic inhibition where we're doing a direct contract relax to the hamstring muscles in order to achieve a post-contraction relaxation of the same muscle. So, Noelle, go ahead and press your heel all the way back towards the back edge of um, the platform. Push down, push down, and think of really bending your knee and bringing this heel up towards your bottom. Right there, she's contracting. Ideal uh, duration will be seven to 10 seconds in order to facilitate the GTO. Contract, contract, eight, nine, 10, and slowly let go. And when she lets go, that's when I apply the full knee extension range. So I usually just use soft tissue. It's because I found some restriction in her popliteal area. This is where she really needs to get that um, soft tissue mobility to allow for um, posterior translation of the tibia and also extension at the femur. Right? 